um, the camp mirror and you rest there for a little bit. I see a lot of people from here. So which means they all started early, like I said, and they're up here, right? Uh, why you have to do without a guiding service is, guiding service most likely they will be a little faster. So I don't know if you want to really hook up with the guiding service and deal with all the other stereotype hikers unless until you are you've luckily found a crazy, crazily a nice group so So when it is on the snow, always exercise caution, slow and steady, right? You'll fall on your bum. That's I mean, you have seen it in the like few minutes back. I fell on my bum. That's actually a pretty dangerous slide though. It might slid me if I did not could not stop myself. It could have slid me into the uh, into the um, crevasse. Okay, so you came to the camp mirror, set up your, luckily you might get a, you know, a hut, public hut, which is an enclosed wooden space uh, where you, if you have like a nice cozy uh, sleeping bag, you don't have to worry about setting up a tent outside in the snow. You can just happily um, sleep on a uh, plywood base. And it's like bunker beds, right? So, so nice and cozy, right? So and then uh, you sleep well and this is what it is wake up early so which means you need to sleep early and wake up early please this is another important advice the reason is did you see all the snow melting on the path instead of that you will have like ton of snow all over the place so but you'll have the shoe marks right so don't need to worry and you'll have the marker points like this i don't know if you can see the marker points so you can just use them as a guide to go up Right. So, so start early at around uh, 11 a.m. 
or 12 p.m. 12 a.m. sorry 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. early is better I know you might think that it's gonna be like super cold uh, your body will adjust I'm pretty sure and then maybe throw in a couple of layers if you are like cold sensitive and then just because once you start hiking oh my gosh you will feel the heat like anything right now if you ask me I'm hiking with a t-shirt so that hot I am and I can easily hike with the shorts on okay so that's how that's my so if you want my two cents that's my advice okay obviously when it is raining uh, wear like a flimsy rain pants from Walmart for like 10 bucks or something right and just uh, and then your top is anyway covered with poncho and then if you are sensitive about your your pants you just uh, you see a small push from the top rattle the whole okay anyway So, uh, dress lightly. Uh, yeah, so now you are starting from uh, camp near at 11, 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. midnight or something, right? Max 1 a.m., okay? Don't be like me. I started at uh, 8 a.m. actually, okay? But frankly speaking, I did very good time. I was at the uh, disappointment lever at 10.30, which is phenomenally awesome time which means I can go up the go up the um, uh, peak and make it to the peak by let's say if I have all the uh, you know support whatever they are saying um, even solo, I'll be up there by 2 p.m. Okay, so nothing is rocket science, guys. You just need to have proper uh, footing and proper uh, hiking skills and then proper. Uh, luck luck okay no matter how good of a hiker you are you have to be having a lot of luck
Okay, so you hike up. Like I said, pretty soon you'll you'll shed all your layers. You'll probably hike like me with uh, wearing uh, you know a t-shirt and maybe shorts, so you can have that uh, you know the the shorts which you can unzip and kind of make them into shorts and whatnot all. You can you can get them real cheap at Costco or you can buy like a. A nicer ones at, uh, at the REI or whatever. Right. So sorry. So uh, right there is my hut right there so So, almost there, maybe 15, maybe half an hour, eh? from the, because I'm hiking slow, because guys, you can hike fast, not a problem, but keep this in mind, if you sleep, it's costly sleep, and you don't want to do that, okay, you're almost there, but you want to like really, 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 you know, freaking So you hike 11 p.m. or 12 midnight or 1, 1 a.m. in the morning, right? Uh, you don't have to worry. You need to have the headlamps, right? And uh, if it is a full moon, even better, because you'll have a glow of the moonlight on top of, and most likely you'll not get burnt. That's another thing you need to consider. So right now I'm actually burning like crazy.
my grand vance. We're still on top of the clouds guys, but today is a better day. I have, I wish I had a, one more day of summit. <sighs> 